Mike here. It's September 2017. Time is flying, but we don't want to disappoint you. EasyIO just keeps getting better, and we have now added wireless. So we have the FW range, the new FW range. It's available now. It's in stock. Go for it. Save money, save time. You're going to have a lot of fun. No more upload, download. This is all live wire sheets, live programming. And BACnet IP and BACnet MSTP client. So the middle one there, FW14, is for rooftop units. Ideally, it can be used for anything. The 8V is our VAV controller. So yes, now you've got wireless VAV, and people have been asking me for this for a long time. And now we have it. Most people say, what about the range? Well, we can mix wired and wireless, and each controller can also act as a repeater. So typically, a Wi-Fi line of sight, you should get easily get 30 meters, 100 feet, and you can just multiply that in a star or a multi-trop configuration by taking advantage of the built-in router. So what I've got here in my home today, I've got two FWs. One is a VAV and one is the 8. I don't have a 14 connected, but the firmware is the same, the programming is the same, just different number of inputs and outputs. Now, let's look at my Wi-Fi. If you go down, typical in Windows, go down the bottom here, click on here, and you'll see I'm connected to FWOC54. And you'll see I also have an 040C. So if I click, I could also connect to that. Ask me for the password. The default is 1234567 So you should change that when they're installed on site. And now I'm connected to that. I could actually show you how I've set this up. So let's go into FW040C forward slash. It asks me to log in. And all the FW controls have a built in dashboard. So our VAV controller has this preset and you can actually have a full utility driven through here to cover just about any type of VAV application. So you can edit anything that's in here, you can edit. So here's your network configuration. As you can see, I'm connected to nothing at the moment because I'm the access point. You can be an access point or a repeater. And I'm a fixed IP at the moment, and my gateway is set at 32. So let's look at the other controller, just to remind ourselves. Let's just look at the MAC address. Sorry, the SSID with the four digits of the MAC address. Let's look at OC54. So if I say FW OC54 forward slash. I think I got that wrong, actually. Look at that. Oh, no, I didn't. That's correct. Okay, admin, hello, VPT. So what's interesting there, I'm connected to one of the SSIDs, but I'm talking to both controllers. So this dashboard will come up. I'll just save that. Go into here. Go to network configuration. So now I've got the browsers open for both controllers, but look at this. I'm connected to 040C, which is the other controller, and I'm acting as a repeater. So that's fixed forever now until you change that. And that's why I can get into both of them. So if I go to CPT now and I go to 040C, I can just log in here, straight in here. There's my live wire sheets. And as we used to do before, we can go and select a different app. Let's say this time I want this to be a, a VAV. Just bring that in. Look at the speed of it as well. It's really awesome. and. There is no infrastructure here. It's all built into the controller. The full IT network is built into the controller. And there it goes, the app. I'm missing a kit, but don't worry about it. Put that in later. Um, so, um, but let's do that. Just so you know, um, it does happen. So I happened to just copy these across earlier. So I will just go and grab the, uh, the kit that I need. It was the Easy IO schedule. If I just go down to here, just copy it across, easy I.O. schedule is down here, copy. So if this ever happens to you, this is what you do. Um, just go into my CPT, which is on my desktop, data folders, FW kit, just paste it in there. And now when I open it, we won't have any problems. I'll just do this again, open. 
And so there was the obvious mistake now fixed. And there's the VAV application, all built in and all driven through the dashboard. Really awesome stuff. Now, you can't see this from where you are, but because I have IP ports, as you can see from the pictures here, I've plugged in my new FS32, the new server class, beast of a controller or a beast plus. Uh, and let me just show you what that looks like. We can, from here now, log into that as well. There it is. Just press open and you will get live wire sheets inside the um, FS32. Very fast. Very amazing controller. Let's now program it to be something else. Let's just... I just want to show you the speed of the graphics. They, they turn around in about three seconds. Let's install this one called Whitehall. Press restore. And it will take about, I don't know, 10, 15 seconds for that to um, restart the logic. Let's, let's take a look at it from the browser. Type in 192.168.10.33. Let me just remind you what I'm doing here. I'm actually... There you are, it's just logged in. I'm actually connecting to this FS controller via the Wi-Fi. So think about it. The infrastructure is built into the controllers. I'm connected to my VAV controller, but I can access my main plant. Look at the speed of those graphics. They're just awesome. Really top-notch. Look at that. It's beautiful. All your histories are built in. Schedules. Okay, underfloor. So I think you're going to be very happy with the new um, features in here. We've also in the FS now got upgrade the firmware via the uh, browser. So that's going to save you a lot of hassle. You can go straight to the database manager now. You can download CPT tools. You can now do email um, with uh, SSL socket. So all the security is built in. And we've still got the FG as well. So... Enjoy all this new range. This is just a quick introduction to show you what is possible, and uh, I think you're going to love it.